Um, let me just change the view of my screen. I don't know why it's here. Okay, I want my screen to look like this. Okay, one class, one class. Okay, I'm going to log in. Uh, my password is Monday. Now, this is a Windows. This is a Windows XP computer. I'm going to create a user, and I'm going to put some settings on the user interface. Are we together? Then I'm going to migrate this user to assume that this computer is an old computer. I'm moving this user to a Windows 8 environment because we just bought a Windows 8 computer system. If you check your lab 2, that's a lab 2 manual on your, on your lab practicals. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on Start. Right click on my computer. I'm going to go to uh, Manage. It's going to bring the computer management icon for me. Now, on that management icon, I'm going to go to where I have local users and groups. Then I'm going to create a new user and a new group. It's always best to follow me when I do practicals. It's always best. Though you have the instructions on your class, on your manual, you can do that as well. So I'm going to expand users and groups. I'm going to click on users. And I'm going to create a new user called James Turner. His password is Monday. His password again is Monday. I'm going to uncheck this and I'm going to say password never expires. I'm going to click on create. So James Turner is already created, so that's fine by me. So I'm going to click on start. I'm going to click on switch user. And of course, let me just minimize this. So the user account has been switched. I'm going to click on James, and it's Monday, and it will say preparing your desktop. Now, like I said, I'm only using this as a sample, okay, as an example. So I'm going to create certain settings on James' computer. After I'm, after I'm done with that, I'm going to migrate James from my computer system to what? Windows 8. Are we together? So pay attention to what I'm going to do. I'm going to go through certain process. Remember we talked about the Windows Easy Transfer. Now by default, it's built in. It's, it comes with Windows 7 and Windows 8. So I'm going to be transferring my user from this computer system into a Windows Easy Transfer file, copy that file into my Windows 8, then migrate the file into Windows 8 computer system. Now, if I click on the Start menu here, you notice that the name here says what? James. Are we together? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create like two or three profiles here. Uh, sorry, folders. I'm going to call it uh, Monday. I'm going to create another one as well. I'm going to call it Today. I'm going to create another one as well. I'm going to call it Sunday. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put on Sunday, I'm going to open it. I'm going to create a picture prof, a picture document there called um, was a bitmap picture. So I'm going to create a picture there. I'm going to go to Monday. I'm going to create a text document. I'm going to call it a sample product. I'm going to open it. I'm going to say um, products. To sample one shoes, two bags, three cell phones. So I'm going to click on file, I'm going to click on save, I'm going to close it. I'm going to go to today and I'm going to create something else. I'm going to create a um, Rich text documents, gonna call it sales report. I'm gonna open it. Okay. Sales database. Click save. And that is it. I'm just gonna do this in four hours postponed so that doesn't interrupt what we are doing. Now that is how his desktop looks like. That's how the files are. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to migrate this user from this profile to what? My Windows 8 computer system. 
But let's first open the Windows 8 to confirm that we do not have an existing James already. So I'm going to pause this. Okay, so in the meantime, while Windows is loading, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the Windows 7. I'm going to right click and create. I'm going to create a shared folder. Are you getting me? I'm going to create a shared folder. I'm going to call it a user profile so that I can be able to share the folder with my Windows 8 so that I can be able to put the, web, the Windows Easy Transfer there as well. So I'm going to create a shared folder now on my system. I'm going to call it um, user profile. So I'm going to be storing the file here on this uh, folder on the computer system. Okay? So I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to the shared folder and create I'll say share with specific people. Of course the shared permission wizard will come up. So I'll just say to everybody because of course um, I'll just come in here, I'll say everyone add and I'll give them read and write permission. I'll click share and that folder will automatically be shared. Now remember, this is called file, file sharing permission. Huh? This is different from NTFS. So that's the URL for the shared permission. Okay. Now the next step I'm going to do, let me just go back to Windows 8 just to confirm. It's logged in. So I'm going to go to the start menu so that I can confirm I only have one user here. If I click on Peter, you'll notice on Peter icon, I have only Peter James. John Smith and Alan Watts Smith. So we don't have John James here, right? Because if I go to my Windows 7 on the start menu, only have James here. Is that not correct? Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on the start menu. I'm going to type Windows Easy. I'm going to type Windows Easy. This minutes coming up. Easy. You saw it, the Windows Easy Transfer comes up. Is that not correct? So I'm going to click on Windows Easy Transfer. The wizard pops up. Now, this wizard will allow me to migrate the user of my choice. Even though I have both Peter and James residing in this computer, I will still be given a choice to determine who I want to migrate. Are we together? Probably this. These two users have been sharing this computer for quite some time. Are you getting me? But something happens. It says um, you cannot use Windows Easy Transfer using a standard account. So what do we do? We have to log in back to who? Okay. Thank you very much. So I'm going to log in back. I'm going to switch user. And I'm going to go to Peter. Peter is an administrator. So I'm going to log in as Peter. And I will be able to logged in as an administrator. I'm going to click on the start menu. Then I'm going to type um, easy. And the Windows Easy Transfer comes up, so I'm going to click on it, and the wizard is going to come up now. Because remember, I'm logged in as the administrator now. Is that not correct? So it's going to come up now. So we just we need the wizard to run through, and uh, it's going to appear. And that's it. It says, welcome to Windows Easy Transfer. You can transfer user accounts, document, pictures, videos, much more internet uh, uh, favorites, and of course your emails. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on next. And it's going to ask me the question, what is the method I want to transfer? I'm not using a network. I'm not using an easy transfer cable. I'm actually using an external hard drive. Probably I don't have an external hard drive because I'm actually having a shared folder on my computer system. Are we together? 
or you can say transfer from another computer through a network connection. So I'm going to just click um, external connection, uh, external uh, USB or external hard drive. Now it's going to ask me, is this my new computer or old computer? Is this my old computer, right? So I'm going to select my old computer. Then it's going to take a few minutes just to check what can be transferred. Meaning it's going to scan my computer to look up the profile. What are the content in those profile? Are you getting me? They give me a rough estimate of the size of each user profile before I do my migration. Are we together? Every user that resides on this computer is going to go through it, scan them, check them, then it's going to give me a summary report, just like you can see now on the screen. So I'm just going to leave it to scan through. It's not going to take that much time. So just leave it to scan through. The size, right? This is 80, that is 63, and that's your shared content. Shared content are what they have in common. But actually, I only just want James, so I'm going to check this. And for shared content, I don't want to connect the shared content. I just want to take only the content that belongs to James. But actually, if there are still content that I do not like within James, let's say the movies, the pictures, the, the, the music files, like I come here and say customize, and to bring the customizers, and I can also uncheck certain things I don't want. Actually, I don't want the music, I don't want the pictures, I don't want the videos. So, probably I don't want videos, I uncheck videos. Are you getting me? So, that tends to reduce the size as well. Are we together? That's where you customize. So, I'm going to click next. Then, of course, it's going to ask me for a password. I'm going to put Monday for protection's sake. Yeah, in case somebody gets access to the file and try to migrate it to their own computer, they will need to have this password. So I'm going to click Save. Then remember, we have a shared location called uh, User Profile, right? That we shared on the network. Is that not correct? So when the, when the uh, Windows Explorer comes up, then we're going to go to that location. Network Share, which is Network Plus 2. So I'm going to go to Users, I'm going to go to James, Desktop of James, and the User Profile. So I'm going to save this file like this, the old computer. So I'm going to click on Save. And that is, that's what's going to happen. So the file is going to be saved. And when that is done, I'll try to use Windows 8 to, net, to use a net, through the network to connect to that particular computer. Are you getting me? Copy the file into Windows 8, then do my migration process. Are we together? So I'll just leave it to go ahead and save the file. It's fully saved, so I'm going to click Next. That's the URL path. Can you see the path? Yes. So I'm going to click on Next, and I'm going to click on Close. So the next step now is to go move over to my Windows, my Windows 8, so that I can do a network share to have access to that file. Put it on Windows 8 environment. So I'm going to go to my desktop, Windows Explorer, and I'm going to go to my network. I'm going to go to my network. So I'm looking for network plus PC. That's it there. I'm going to double click on it. It's going to ask me for username, so I'm going to type um, so it's, uh, it's network. It's network plus, right? Then password is Monday, right? That's it. So I'm going to go to users, James, desktop, user profile, and that's it. You see that only the desktop appeared because that was the only folder shared. The rest folders were not shared. If I needed to have access to those shared content, I would need to go through Drive C to have access to all the content. So I'm going to drop this now on my desktop. So it's going to copy. Um, it's quite fast, doesn't waste time. Now, <clears throat> I can go now to my Windows 7 and shut it down. So I'm going to go to my Windows 7 and I'm going to shut it down. So my Windows. 7 is shutting down now. So I'll just leave that process to happen. 
So now, the next step is to what? Migrate. We're now in our new Windows environment. Remember, the Windows is already installed, right? So let's say, for example, this is the blank PC. So what I will do now, I'll go to the Start menu. I'll click on Search, and I will type Easy, and Windows Easy Transfer comes up as well. <coughs> Are we together? So I'm going to click on it, and the wizard pops up. And from the wizard, it tells me, Welcome to Windows Easy Transfer. I'm going to click on Next. Now, it's asking me, have you already used Windows Easy Transfer to save your files from another PC? Now, do you know why it's asking me this question? Because uh, this, uh, this is a new PC. Definitely, the reason why I migrated to Windows 8 is because I'm coming from what? An older version. So, I'll say yes if you save it to an external USB connected right now. Are you getting me? So, I'm going to say yes. Are we together? And it's going to ask me where's the file. The file is on my desktop, right? So I'm going to click on desktop. I'm going to scroll down. Wow, I have two files here. The other one is 30. This, okay, I think this is 125, right? This is the one we, we, we had in, right? 30, today's 30, right? So that's the file we're looking for. Now it's going to ask me for the password. And we said Monday was the password, right? So click next. Now, remember the same way the computer scanned the PC where it selected the profile. It's also going to do the same thing as well. And it says your settings, your settings cannot be transferred, which is fine. So these are the these are the settings that will be transferred now to my computer. James and the shared settings of what? James. So I'm going to click on transfer. It's quite a light file, so it's not going to take that long. So we'll just wait for you to finish. You're not going to get such errors, huh? Everything's going to, yeah, it's not going to get such errors. So your files have been transferred, so I'm going to click on close. Now the next thing, if I come to my users now, you notice that James is not part of one of them. I'm going to click on James now. It's going to ask me to change the user password as well. So I'm going to give it Monday as well. Monday as well. So I'm going to click OK. And it will start preparing the desktop for James. Remember, we have three files on the desktop. We're going to open them to confirm our settings. So I'm just going to wait for Windows 8 to do its thing. On this computer now, now let me go to user profile. It's actually empty because remember we moved the content out. Huh? Now let's go to, because you know why, when we're doing the migration, we migrated the user profile. But because we're using the Windows Easy Transfer, that same file was not being used. So that was why we had the errors. Huh? So that was where the error came from. Now let me go to today. We have sales report. Is that not correct? I'm going to open it. Now was it where we created sales database, the document? So that's intact. Now let's go to Monday. We created says, uh, sample product. Let's see, do we have our sample product intact? As good as that, guys. Sunday, we have our pictures. The bitmap picture is there. And guys, that's the end. The user can come the next morning and log in. He only sees everything is the same. He sees his folders are there. He goes to my documents. He clicks on uh, Windows Explorer. He goes to my documents. His document folders are there. It goes to my videos. The video files are there. It goes to my picture. The picture files are there. Are you getting me? Whatever, wherever, whatever he has stored on the previous computers will be migrated back into the system. Are we together? Guys, that is migration. So go and try them. Go and know them.